gas puzzles. And yeah, we are starting um, with a puzzle called Marco Lantern. So I guess this was for Halloween. I will in a moment read out all the Discord um, blurbs that the creators of the gas, the genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles that go up on the daily Sudoku channel on the Discord server, that I'll be reading what they wrote about them. Uh, there's normally some humour to be had there, but um, do give these a try. If you like them a lot, try our Gas app, which is available. Um, and also, there's all our other apps as well. And don't forget that on Patreon, we now have the uh, big old snake pack. Slightly more complicated than Gas, to be fair. They are harder puzzles. But if that's where your taste is, that's what you should be doing instead of these. So... Anyway, do try these on the links under the video. Now, anything else to say about them? Not really. Let's let's start going through um, what the guys said. So, we start on day one with this marker lantern by Philip. It's almost Halloween, says Philip. Do you have a costume? I'm dressing up as today's gas, a spooky classic Sudoku. Gas behind the scenes bonus, I made my pumpkin profile picture and subsequently today's puzzle as a reminder after we were discussing the upcoming gas posting schedule and I forgot that October the 31st existed. Oh, this was posted on October the 30th. Oops. Normal Sudoku rules apply and that's it. So Philip has accidentally designed a puzzle for, the, for Halloween and then posted it on the 30th. That's fine. We don't mind that. And you can see the sort of jack-o'-lantern picture here. I think that's very clever. Um, and frankly, that gives me a title for the video. So I'm happy with that. Then we will go on to puzzle two, descriptive pairs. And Clover says, in celebration of Halloween, because this is on Halloween, of course, I've dredged up the scariest, hauntedest, most dangerous rule set I could find, then dressed it up in a cute, cuddly outfit to make it friendly enough for everybody. Today's gas is a descriptive pairs Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Also, some pairs of numbers, X and Y, are given outside certain rows and columns. If an XY clue appears outside of a row or column, then either X appears in the Yth position in that row or column, or Y appears in the Xth position in that row or column, counting from the direction of the clue. For example, if 3 6 appears to the left of a row, then either 3 appears in the 6th position from the left in that row, or 6 appears in the 3rd position from the left, or both. The dinosaur... Oh, yes, there are... With the, under the video, there will be times for um, speedy solves. And there's a two-hat time and a one-hat time. And for anybody who solves it outside those times, they're entitled to a dinosaur, according to the rules of the... Uh, daily Sudoku channel. And the dinosaur for Philip's puzzle, which I forgot to mention, was a spooky Soraya Titan. The dinosaur for Clovers is a costumed Chylantisaurus. And then we move on to November the 1st's puzzle by Bill Murphy. Fireworks. Possibly appropriate for Halloween. Our fireworks day is November the 5th in the UK. Good day, class. I'm your substitute teacher for today, Mr. Murphy. Your teacher, Mr. Newman, isn't here today, but I do believe he'll be back tomorrow. He's left instructions for me to continue with your Arrow Sudoku unit from last week. You do remember what you were doing, right? Can I get at Daily Sudoku Solver to fill me in on what you all did last week? Excuse me, at Daily Sudoku Solver. Why aren't you wearing any pants? Normal Sudoku rules apply. I don't know what that means. Digits along an arrow sum to the number in the attached circle. I know what that means. And the dinosaur this time is a bad dream bagaratan. Um, okay, so then we move on to classic again by Jovial. Jovial. Howdy, howdy. It's Jovial back again because I forgot my wallet last time the gas team had me over. Because I never leave my house anymore, I didn't notice until just now. <laughs> Regardless, here are some fun facts about today's genuinely approachable classic Sudoku. One, there are 21 givens in this puzzle. Two, three distinct digits are given only once. Three, gas team and later shy's DMs, after I felt bad spamming everyone, saw me go through a ridiculous number of iterations for this puzzle until I found one with a solve path and pencil mark ergonomics that I felt was good enough. So the rules are the normal rules of Sudoku. 
and the dinosaur is a tool assisted color dinosaur and then we will be on to the last one of the set by Philip again the thin white lines some of you may have wondered why at Jovi dark arts out now posted yesterday Hopefully there was wild speculation about my absence. In fact, it had nothing to do with me at all. We were just adjusting the schedule a bit for calendar ergonomics. Trademark. I'm a bit lost here, sorry. Today's gas is a consecutive pair of Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits and cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive, have a difference of one. No negative constraint. Other adjacent pairs of digits may be consecutive. There is a spoiled hint, and I'm not going to read it because I don't want the tip, but you could go to the gas, to the Daily Sudoku channel and read it. Uh, the dinosaur is a serialized Silutitan, and with the rules out of the way, let's go back to Puzzle 1. Two classics in the set. I feel blessed, although one of them being by Jovial is a bit of a red flag. But anyway, let us... I'm going to restart my clock every time so I know my time, and let's get cracking. Okay, so, 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 so... This is a 9-5 pair based on what they can see. I'm doing the coloured version of this. You can play on a black and white version, I believe. Now, that hasn't changed row 4 at all. That's now a 3-5 pair. That's a 2-9 pair. Never afraid to pencil mark, even in a classic. 6, 8, 7, no, let's look along, right, 3 has to be there in row 7, that's a 2, 1 pair, so I can then do 4, 6 and 3 in the box if I type them correctly, 6, 3, 6, 7, 3, 8, 9, ah, come on, don't know what the next break in, oh, that is a naked 1 now, oh, that 9 did help sort out row 4 and I didn't spot it. Numpty. Right. One, eight, nine there. The two has resolved one and two. So that becomes an eight. That's a six. Seven in box three is there. That puts one there. That sorts out the rest of box three. We must be able to do box six now. Probably I can do three and eight in row three. Uh, yes, I can do the rest of box one as well. So whatever whatever uh, sequence I've taken in this puzzle seems to have worked quite well. Six, six, six. That's a four. In fact, the three, five next to it are done now. So surely I'm just finishing off down here. Nine and two. I'm tempted to still try that. Yes, I can put in the two, but not the four, eight pair. 3 and 1, let's do 5 and 4, that fixes the 4, 8 pair, 8 and 2, and that is a nice quick one, just over 2 minutes. That'll get me the two party hats, no doubt about it. And I can move on to the descriptive pairs. Um, so these pairs outside the grid, yes, I understand this rule. Let's get cracking. So in this first row, Always start on the left with a clover puzzle. We can't put one in position two, so we must put two in position one. Then we can't put two in position three, so we must put three in position two. We can't put three in position four, so we must put four in position three. Eight and nine in this row, only one of those is vacant. Three and four in this row, these left hand clues are very helpful. Two and three. I've done this sort of puzzle before and never been able to make headway. So Clover really has gassed this up a bit for us. Yeah, I think that's got to be right for the left-hand clues. Let's try the right-hand clues now. And that one's become easy because of what we've done. So has this one. It's really just a matter of admin, actually. Um, position six needs a seven. Ah, oh, nine there or six there. I can't determine that one. Four there or three there. Well, that has to be a four. We can't have a two in this row, so we need a three. We can't have a one in this row, so we need a two. So that does all the right-hand clues apart from the middle one. Now, down here, position eight is filled, so we'll put an eight in position four. 
We can't put four into position nine, so we'll put nine in position four. That's the north glues done. We can't put four into position seven, so we're going to put seven into position four, looking up there. We can't put seven into position four this time. We've already got four in position seven. So I'm just left with this six nine clue to do. But hopefully the rest of this will succumb to classic Sudoku techniques. That's certainly what I'm expecting. And Clover really has, that's a naked too. Clover really has given us um, a useful introduction to the genre. Mm, okay, that's a naked one as well. Five, nine, three, nine, eight, seven, two, one. Let's look at this box down here. Four goes there. Three goes there. Six and five can go in. <coughs> Column two. Column three. Eight and a six, three pair. That's a nine. Yeah, this is just a classic Sudoku now. Seven. Six, five, sorts out three, six pair. That's a two, I suspect. Oh, I've done that now. Six in position nine. So I can't use the clue anymore. Five there, four, nine. One goes there, eight and three. And this is very straightforward now. Eight, seven, one, five and four, six, nine pair. We've got a one, six pair down here. Eight there, seven, five, and nine. The five helps sort out the other pairs. Now, column six, and one more digit, and there we go three minutes 26 seconds. So, again, pretty confident about the two hats. So we haven't had, in terms of my struggles with the puzzle, fireworks yet, but maybe we're going to get it from Bill Murphy's. So let's see how this goes. Gonna rest. Did I remember to restart the clock last time? Yes, I did. Okay, let's go. So eight, oh, on an arrow, eight plus one equals nine. Seven plus two equals the same nine. Oh, and look, there are other connections to that nine. Oh, loads of connections to that line. I can't even see them all. That's a three and a seven. So the other digits there are a six and a two. Now that means this can't be a two six pair. Hmm, so it's either a three or a seven there and a one or a five here. Oh, of course, I, should, I must know what these two are. They must be nine and four because they can't appear on a two-cell arrow from an eight in the same box. Same down here. This must be nine and eight on the off-arrow cells. That doesn't use one or five, so it's a three-four pair. Don't know about that. Nine and six must be in these two cells. Two-eight pair at the top of the column. Yeah, I think these actual arrow positions aren't all that helpful anymore. So I might be just relying on more classic techniques from here on in. I mean, maybe they will be... Oh, look, that can't be a 6-2 because of that. Actually, that's not bad. 1-7 there. Oh, something's gone wrong there. Because this can't be 6-2 or 3-5. This is not good. Okay, I've done something wrong. That's really annoying. It's not working. Um, that's so confusing. I didn't think I'd done anything wrong. Let's go back to this bit. Now, all of these sums are right, surely. No, they're not. That is totally wrong. Oh, I think I just mistyped it, but how can you mistype a 5 instead of a 3? Only by being a numpty. So Bill's going to be proving my nemesis, but not for reasons of his construction, but for reasons of my numptiness. Uh, that's a 3-5 pair. Right, I can still go back to 9 and 4. 
Go back to nine and eight down there. This is still a three, four, that's still okay. Right, this has become a four, so I finish the central box now. This is two, five, or seven by Sudoku. Ah, that's not that helpful. Eight, four, five, four, five, nine, seven, two. Oh, this doesn't have a two on it, so that's the two, five pair. This is six and one. I know the order. I can get a six there. This isn't two. In fact, it has to be nine. That's a two, eight pair. I think that may be repeating stuff I did before, but I didn't know exactly what I needed to unwind. Now, there's a nine there and a nine there, which forms a weird X-wing. Really help. Ah, oh, there's a nine here. I think that's at least a digit. This is tricky, actually. Um, right, this can't be six one. It's either two or four there, and three or five here. This one can't be two five. Ah, oh, and it can't be four three given those as well. So that's a one six pair, but I don't know the order. Mm, this is not as obvious as when I pencil marked it before when I had the wrong digits in. Three, two, seven, six. Oh, six. There's a six looking at that cell. I didn't see that. So there is a one in one of those two. I bet it's in the arrow. Um, six, six. One of those is a six. So it's not a six, two arrow. It's either, I think that maybe that is the same pencil marking as last time. There's a one in one of those. Ah, and there's a one X-wing there, so I get the one in row three from that. Five, nine, one, six. Six, nine. <coughs> there's a sort of, well, I don't need an X-wing. I know that two is in one of those positions in row, in column three. Ah, struggling here. There's a oh, one has to be there because of the one seven pair at the top. Then one is going to have to be here if it can't be on the arrow. So that's all the ones done apart from these X wings. Oh, there's a six. That six, obviously, it's just a blind spot for me. It's been looking at two cells now that I haven't been able to see. Very annoying and embarrassing. One of those is a two. This now can't be 1, 7, or 6, 2. Right, it's 5, 3. That 2 is done. 3 does that pair. Yeah, now, now I might finally be able to finish off. 4 there. Now a 9, 5 pair. 2, 1, 6. So, oh, bother. 5, 6, 1, 7, 8, 4. That's become a 3. Has it? No, not necessarily. It's a 3-5 pair with a 2-4 pair above it. That's annoying. Um, and then 7 and 8 up there. Um, 3 is in one of those cells. Therefore, that's not 3. Right, and that does sort out all of those pairs. That sorts out that pair down below. This is an I-wing 4. We've got a 3-7 pair there. Oh, come on, that must do something. Must do more. I don't know, bother. Two and five down in box seven. Five, nine, four, eight, three or eight, six, eight, two. That's three or seven, that's four or seven. Got all these chocolate teapot triples going on. Four, five, nine, six has to be here now. That's not going to help much, is it? Not down below. That's five or seven, so that forms a pair in this box, weirdly. This is one, three, or eight. Oh my goodness, I'm still pencil marking away like a lunatic. Ah, oh, that can't be seven or nine because there's a five, seven pair. So that's nine, that's nine, that's five. That fixes the five, seven pair. Um, 
um, right now, surely we're done. Six, two, eight, nine, four, five, one, three, seven pair in this column. So that's a five, which I could have done much more easily based on what I'd already noted. That's a three, seven and three. This is a two, eight pair and they're done. Wow, this has not been a good run out. Four, eight, three, four, three. Seven minutes, 51, probably only one hat for that. Clever puzzle, but botched at the start and then not completed well after that with a particular digit that I struggled to identify, that I couldn't use for some reason a given. Anyway, another classic, but jovial this time. Let's go and see how we get on. So we get an eight there and a one. So that's a nice start. Two, four, nine, triple. Oh look, one and eight here as well. Uh, six, seven, nine, triple. Let's see if we can keep that going. Yes, nine and eight round there. One, two, three, triple, and slightly more information about those. Nine and eight here as well. And a one, two, seven, triple at the top. So thank you to those positions. What else did we learn? That's not a nine, and that's not a nine. Okay, now, there's a one in one of those. There's a nine in one of those. There's an eight right there. Uh, there's an eight right there as well. Classic jovial total symmetry going on everywhere. And that's all I get with the extra numbers from Oh, what about the central box? Seven can't be there or there. Oh, that's not all that helpful. Five, six, eight, four. Why do I think I'm not going to find anything good? Oh, look, that is naked. Ah, I am going to find something good. That is a naked seven. So that's not a seven. This is two or three. So the four in the row is here. That's not... Um, I'm for it, 73, 6 or 9 there, so we're placing 5 in that column. 3, 9, 8, 1, 5. That is a naked 2 now. Seven there. That's become a three. Ah, this is going nicely now. So you can you can appreciate the good setup even when you're finally bombing along. I mean, that has been very neatly put together. Six, four, nine, one there. Okay, now, as long as I can find the odd naked single or two outside, I imagine this will be all right. Um, there it is, that's a three. Then that becomes a four in the same naked fashion. That's a two now. Naked meaning, of course, that it can see every other Sudoku digit from its position, and therefore it's standing there na as the naked and single candidate in the position. Six, seven there, and six, seven there. So those are a four, five pair. That's not nine, it's one or seven. Oh, there's still a bit of work to do. No, that's naked now. Naked nine there, one and two up there. Three goes there. That's not a five, so that's the five. There's still a six, seven pair to resolve. That five is seeing this four, so that was good pencil marking. That becomes a five. That's six. That's seven. That's one. And finishing off box three is going to be key. Now we're going to be able to finish the whole puzzle double quick. Um, as long as I don't make errors anyway. Five and seven, that's become a four, that's become a seven. Six and two left, I think. Three and seven here. Six there, five there, one and nine. And yes, Jovial, you have created a proper gas. I mean, you could be a lot slower than that if it takes a while to spot naked singles. And I'm not normally very slow at that, so. I might have had benefit from that, but it's a lovely puzzle. 
Right, the thin white lines. <clears throat> David Bowie's favourite puzzle. Okay, um, there's sequences. Well, no, consecutive dots, that's all. No negative constraint. Right. What on earth do we do here? Ah, there's a four in this box. So these are either five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine, and they definitely include six, seven, and eight. This, I think, has to be a one, two pair as a result. Pretty sure that's right. Then this now can't be a one, so that's two or three. This can't be a one either, so now it's two or three. I was going to say it could be four, but it can't because of that. So in fact, that keeps this below four as well. One, two or three there. Two or three or four now here. Four, six, seven, eight, one, two. This can't be three, so it must be five or nine. And that makes a five, six, seven, eight, nine set. That puts three here. Oh, this is a whole sequence. I thought it was a four cell sequence. It's a five cell sequence. Oh, I can't read. That's seven in the middle of six, eight, and five, nine on the outsides. Now let's keep going with this. Well, the trouble is this could get high now. So maybe, oh look, five or nine there. So this is eight, four, or six even. Now this is the point. We're gonna know the parities of all these things. And this is a five cell set here. And it can't have a two in it or that cell couldn't exist. Ooh, and it can't have a five there, although it's got to have an odd number in the middle. It can't be three or five, it's got to be seven. Surrounded by six and eight, surrounded in turn by five and nine. That doesn't, oh well, that is seeing a nine, so that's a five. There we go, that's sequence done in the middle. This is four or six, so this is now five. These are a two, three, four sequence, so now we know the parity. That's two or four, that's one or three, that's two, that's three, that's two, that's one. This is two or four as well. This is odd. It's not three or seven. Oh, it could, it's not one either. It is five. Four there, two there. Doesn't tell me what, oh, the three in the box tells me what that is. This is four or six. This is seven or three. Oh, this is eight. That's better. This is seven or nine. Oh, this is a sequence though. So it's running downwards. Uh, six or eight, five or seven, four or six, three or five. Now, if that was seven, six, five, four, three, you couldn't make this sequence. So it's not. It's nine, eight, seven, six, five. This is another two, three, four sequence. So that's a three and that's a four. And the rest is classicness. So three there, seven there, eight, nine pair to go. That's a nine, that's an eight, that's a four, five, six pair. That's a two. This is a six, three pair that I can resolve. Four, seven, nine, triple there. Let's look in box. Well, let's look up here for a six or seven there. No, that's a six, that's a seven, that's a two. The six sorts those. Five and seven, one and four here. Mm. Oh, come on, come on. There's a nine in one of those. That's not it. That is two or six. Six or seven. Three, seven, six, nine. Maybe there is a naked single to be found. Yes, that corner cell is. That's weird. But it places seven for me here. Eight, four, seven. That was a surprising place to find a naked single right in the far corner. That's two or five. One, two, five, three. We've got to fit eight into column three and nine. Right, that's good. 
So we get a four there. The four has fixed that to four pair. That makes that a six. We get the four one pair here. Uh, this is a two nine pair, so that fixes eight nine. Then there's eight one above. Six and four are done now. That's a seven. Eight one. Don't know about the two five pair. That's a six. One, two, sorts out the two, five pair. Then we get five and three. There we go. Five minutes, 20. Felt quicker that time, but uh, that's very interesting. I wonder what the spoiled hint was. Maybe it was about sequences. Not sure. Um, anyway, there we go. Those are today's five gases. I think it was the fireworks that tripped me up, although maybe seven minutes, 51 was just inside the two hat time. Don't know. We will find out when Miko Kisai posts their normal assessment, which I look forward to greatly. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, as always, and uh, do try our gas app. It's well worth it. I hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.